Hello everybody. Today I'm going to discuss the difference between the terminology reboot and remix. A reboot in film terminology is whenever a film takes a concept from a previous film, starts from scratch and goes into a completely different creative direction. Reboots can often go as far as having little to no resemblance to the original films and disregard all references related to them. This involves changing or removing plot elements from the original film, such as switching a character's background, race, sex, character, motive. An example would be Spider-Man, which was directed by Sam Raimi and released in 2002. The reboot was The Amazing Spider-Man, directed by Mark Webb, released in 2012. Film remakes will take the story and characters while simply repeating what has already been done before, but with a modern take on it. The main change that the remake of a film does is changing the timeline of events in which the original film had taken place in. If the actual film was made in the 70s or 80s, and a remake of that film would have been made in modern times, then the same story and characters would be retold as if it were taking place in, say, 2020. That would mean the removal of the type of clothing, brands, worn, cars that were driven by those characters, and instead those characters would be introduced to the technology and clothing brands that we use today, as well as the current lifestyle, political views, and general topics of 2020. The film itself would be created using state-of-the-art technology designed and built instead of the equipment that was used to make the original during the time it was made, where that be the 70s or the 80s. An example of this would be War of the Worlds, directed by Brian Haskin and released in 1953, and the remake, War of the Worlds, directed by Steven Spielberg and released in 2005. Now, soft reboots, this is where it gets tricky for a lot of people and what inspired me to write this all out and make a video on it. A soft reboot is whenever a film is made that is connected to a franchise containing several sequels but decides to start from scratch again. The soft reboot films will retcon and ignore certain events from previous films, if not all of them entirely. I bet that sounds familiar, doesn't it? An example would be Halloween, directed by John Carpenter and released in 1978. It had a soft reboot, Halloween 2018, directed by David Gordon Green and of course released in 2018. A spin-off, which is usually done with TV and web series but is now becoming more popular with films, is whenever a supporting or minor character who has already appeared in a previous original film or episode and they get their own film or show and they are the main character. Sometimes spin-offs will take an already established character from a previous film or episode but instead introduce a new character in a different setting. This new character may or may not interact with characters in the same continuity universe that they were already set in from the previous content. Spin-offs also do not retcon or ignore what was already set up in the previous films. If anything, they tend to show events that are canon from a different perspective or explore storylines taking place before, during or after their predecessors. An example for television shows would be The Walking Dead, released in 2010, and its spin-off, which is a prequel, Fear the Walking Dead, which was released in 2015. Rocky, directed by John G. Alvinson and released in 1977. It had a spin-off called Creed, directed by Ryan Coogler and released in 2015. I hope that settles the uh, debate that reboots are not subjective at all. Thank you for listening. Have a great day or night, wherever you are.